B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. Eurocham Cambodia's Real Estate and Construction Committee, in partnership with the Construction Committee of Eurocham Vietnam, hosted its third edition of the Tall Building Forum at the Sofitel Phnom Penh on May 30, 2024. During this forum, we heard from experts on the evolving landscape of tall buildings in Cambodia, including the opportunities and challenges. We heard from the Cambodian Minister of Land Management as well as other real estate experts. We all know that the property sector in Cambodia is going through a reinvention and transition phase, and that the pains that have befallen the formerly over-optimistic sector are having a strong impact on parts of Cambodia's economy at the moment. However, this forum is certainly also a witness to our ongoing optimism and an opportunity to now focus on better quality overall, more energy efficiency and overall increased sustainability and higher value in planning and building of high buildings and of their surrounding infrastructures. We want a city, a Phnom Penh city, for example, you know, everyone can live. Everyone can have a niche of space for themselves where you can work, find job, decent job, food on the table. Kids can go to, a, you know, not a private school, but it's a quality school. School that not really think about math, about score, but school that equip kids that they can live in the world. A city needs to have green space and ecosystem. Be a part of the ecosystem. Uh, I just point out that, you know, we should think about Mekong River as an open space, a green open space, a cooling system for the city. B2B Cambodia had the opportunity to conduct two interviews regarding the benefits of tall buildings and whether Cambodia should continue building more. The first interview was with Chien Ju Chen, country manager and project manager at Turner International Malaysia. I think in the beginning, in the early uh, 2000 or late, you know, 1990 something, people talk about tall building. They are just simply want to compete with height. They, everybody want to be the tallest of this, tallest of that. But over the last 20 years, um, the concept of sustainability, the impact to the urban development has now come more into the pictures. So being the tallest or the biggest is no longer the priority. Uh, every country should have put it in a consideration in a context of culture, the pace of economic development into the consideration. So I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed on, on the way I just, today's my second day in Cambodia, on the way from the airport, I already seen some very nice new and tall building. So tall and short is a relative return. So 300 meter tall building, is maybe it's con considered very tall already here. You don't need to be the tallest, the biggest the building, but if you put it in a context, you will find an idea height, idea size of Cambodia, this country's uh, development path. We have seen this example in many different countries like uh, Taiwan, Malaysia, and e even in Thailand and uh, Vietnam, right? They all gone through this past. It does resemble economic growth uh, of the country. A tall building means that the, this country is on the right path. It will give confidence not only to the to Cambodia, but also other countries that who are planning to invest in Cambodia. So I think it's a, it's a good sign and it has been proven in many different countries that it's worth the investment. The second interview was with Martin Aaron, the founding director and principal architect of Aaron Architects and Associates Co. Limited. Aaron discussed his 20 years of experience working in the Cambodian market. Tall building is always difficult to make it affordable because tall buildings generally are not the most efficient building. The structure is much more expensive, so semi high-rise buildings, mid-rise buildings, that would be much more affordable. If we go higher, it's maybe not so affordable, but we could still make it much more connected to a Khmer identity, to a way of life that we have uh, lived here for hundreds of years, that we actually create almost like a village-style setting, even though of contemporary style on a higher level. That we would actually enjoy being up there on an outdoor space, be it uh, more of a communal space where we on the way to our apartment, our house, or be it on the outer layer of the facade where we could uh, have our dinner outdoor, because on a higher level we have much more wind than what we have on the, on the ground here. How do we define that Cambodian identity? But I have to say that uh, the, the landed property is currently more at the heart of the Cambodian population 
having your own land, having your basically your freedom, what you want to do on it. You can adjust your house freer. Once you're on a high rise, you really depend on the management of the whole building. You are depending on uh, on your neighborhood, and you don't really easily develop on the in the current way we do high rise buildings a neighborhood. It's very anonymous, so we lose in a sense a sense of belonging, a sense of community, even though we might have great views. But that's, as I said, uh, depending on how we build those higher structures. But when I look at the ways we make Borais, yes, you have a nice home, you have some sort of a neighborhood, but compared to an old village uh, where you have a temple, a school, uh, you, you shared much more, you shared even meals, you could see each other easily, you would have your veranda on the upper floor looking at the, at, the, at the street. You would sit outdoor under the house and have your lunch and, and have your visitors there. That all looks nowadays very different. You rather look at the gate, behind the gate you have a car, behind the car you have a big door, but then you go in and when you look out you often just look at walls. So that uh, is for me uh, quite remote from an old tradition. That over years people will miss even though they want they have aspirations, they want to express also their success, they are climbing up in a social ladder, that having a larger house could in the future uh, integrate much more of the old cultural values and the old cultural settings, even though looking very modern.